on this beautiful evening, myself, Ms. Richa Zadal from Department of Nursing in the specialization of Community Health Nursing. Today, we'll be uh, dealing with a beautiful topic, that is diarrhea. As I mentioned, beautiful topic, it really literally doesn't mean diarrhea is a beautiful topic. But it is very important topic, of course. Why? Because as a part of community, we all know. We all of us definitely stay in the community. And a part of this, we know each one of us, and I'm damn sure, each one of us, each one of us have definitely come across this disease condition, that is diarrhea. So today we'll be discussing about this topic. If you see the definition, it says that diarrhea is a condition which is characterized by a decrease in stool, consistency, increased fluidity, and stool that causes urgency or abdominal discomfort. When you say diarrhea is a condition, diarrhea is a condition which is characterized by the disease in stool consistency. As we know, we have come across to this diarrhea. The stool has a specified consistency. But when the consistency decreases and it, it turns into this increased fluidity. When you say that, increase in the fluidity means when you have a very, very liquidy stool or you can say fluidy stool, this condition is said to be as diarrhea. Of course, it is one of the urgency and abdominal discomfort. As we know, even if we do not have a that if we do not have a stool pass, we do have a discomfort. The same way, when you have a urgency, it is frequency of stooling, passing of your stool or passing of your feces. It definitely means that a person is having discomfort or definitely it is an urgency. You know, her bar hota hai. Every time you have to go to the toilet, you have to go to the, uh, of course you have to go to continuity in the toilet. And when you have a very consistency, you feel very weak, you, are, you feel tired and the, you definitely have an abdominal discomfort. You have a pain in the abdominal area, right? So when you see the definition, it means that it is a condition where uh, it is being characterized that when you have a stool consistency, which is fluid form, and it is urgency and you have an abdominal discomfort, it will definitely say that a person is carrying with diarrhea. Okay? All clear guys? Okay. So next is etiology. What do you mean by etiology? Etiology is a cause factor. Why diarrhea is there? Or what is the reason of diarrhea? Let's see about it. The first is decreased fluid absorption. When a person in intaking of the fluid, if the fluid is very less in the intake, definitely cause diarrhea. Okay? When you say there are many mentioned points which will help us to understand how is decreased fluid absorption. Okay? First is intake of pore absorption solutes, that is laxatives. As we know, laxatives are nothing but they are such kind of substances which helps to pass the stool easily. मतलब हम क्या कह सकते हैं? Basically, जब भी कोई बंदा stool pass करता है या फिर fecation करता है, तो उसमें जो भी हम खाना खाते हैं, तो वो ऐसी चीजें हम खाना चाहिए या अगर कम ऐसे fiber rich diet अगर हमारे intake में कम हो, या laxatives are solubles, मतलब जो भी तुम्हारे feces होते हैं, वो काफी thick नहीं रहते हैं, soft रहते हैं जिससे आराम से बाहर आ सकता है rectum से। so, we will call it laxatives. But if it is very less intake of laxatives, definitely it is going to have the decrease in the fluid absorption. That is the first point here. Second, mild digestion and mild absorption. Whenever you know, when we go out to eat food, like uh, let's say that we go for the fast foods, like burger and pizzas. Whenever we, whenever we go to McDonald's or any other fast food things, the next morning, is it very, um, your stools are passed very easily? No. It do have different consistency, right? It may be sometimes constipation, kabhi kabhi digestion nahi hota, and that, and sometimes if it is very often, if you eat more often your food outside, definitely you can, in this mild digestion. The digestion won't be proper, as the intake of these kind of foods, like less fiber diet, less water diet, uh, like if you have very less fluid intake, that also will definitely mean for this mild digestion or malabsorption. Okay? Next is mucosal damage. 
Now, how can this mucose get damaged? Whenever there are very hard stools. Whenever a person will pass hard stools, definitely the mucus gets damaged. And that makes the part to get damaged and that is the reason why it is very hard for the stool to come out and that may also cause the space. And during the diarrhea also, if you come across, when uh, diarrhea is there, whatever mucus is there, you know, in the body there are more often parts of the mucus everywhere present in the body. But even in your rectum, there are some mucus present in the rectum as well. Whenever there is acidic form of um, stool, it will damage the mucus also, often. Then intestinal enzymes deficiency, lactase. During the intestinal enzyme deficiency, this also leads for the diarrhea. Okay? Whenever there is, when your enzyme starts deficiency, the proper intake of food is not being absorbed, that also leads for this enzyme deficiency. Okay, or deficiency of the enzymes. Next is decreased surface area. Okay? If a specified area is decreased surface, that leads for the reason for diarrhea. For example, now you say, what, uh, what do you mean by decreased surface area? What do you mean by this? Decreased surface area? Definitely, whenever the intake of food, if, if you eat outside food, that causes, or if you decrease the food intake, sometimes that also causes this decreased surface area of the food. Next, osmotic diarrhea. This is also the reason why the, uh, the diarrhea takes place. Okay. okay. Let's see about the next one. Irrit uh, second one is the, first we saw the decrease fluid absorption. Second is mortality or B is mortality disturbance. C is increased fluid secretion. Okay. Let's see about the B that is irritable bowel syndrome. When there is irritability in the bowel, if the bowel is not nice, it is not going good that also creates this irritable bowel syndrome if you always have often diarrhea or if you always have the loose tools that also are responsible for this irritability of the bowel syndrome next is diabetic enteropathy diabetic enteropathy is also a, risk, a reason or the cause of the diarrhea next is gastrostomy that is also the reason to have the diarrhea next is increased fluid secretions like for example, if there are more see, um, fluid secretions like in, because of infection, there will be more secretion, hormonal changes that causes and tumors. If there is a tumor in the uh, rectum or in the digestive system, it also creates an increase in the fluid secretions. Okay? Understood? So let's see the next one. These are some of the risk factors. What? As you saw, the etiology causes. There are also some of the risk factors which causes the, that is recent travel to unhygienic places. As we know, we often we always go out for eating fast food, as I already mentioned, right? The same thing. There is also decreased travel to unhygienic places. Whenever we travel to places like, um, you know, we go for uh, eating pani puris to the unhygienic place, right? or else we go and eat uh, outside food where flies are there, mosquitoes are there, that causes infection. That are also risk factors which can be responsible for the diet. Next is outdoor camping. Uh, now, many of you will say like, what is the reason like uh, why outdoor camping will really take place in this? That is because, as we know, whenever we go to campaign, we are not maintaining all the hygiene parts. Is it true? Like for example, if we have some of the, um, you know, we definitely recommend lots of people about the hygiene. Wash your hands before eating, wash your hands after eating with the soap and water, as we tell in the community. Even when we are preparing the food, we should wash the vessels, we should wash the food items. It should not be cooked raw, it should not be undercooked, it should be cooked properly. Right? So all these things are really going to take place in the outdoor campaign? Definitely not. We are going to cook there whatever it is, whatever we get, we cook there. 
do we get lots of our uh, fulfilled water or we get lots of amount of water so that we can just wipe our hands and prepare everything very neatly and hygienically? Definitely not. So these are also reasons to have the infection and not maintaining the hygiene. Okay? So this is the reason of outdoor camping. Next is ingestion of raw meat, seafoods and shellfish. Of course, now many of you may say, Madam, we do like sushi, of course. You may say, we do like salmon, of course. But they may give, or they may say that there are high chances of ingestion to the people. Of course, it is not our culture. Of course, the Indians do not have this culture, definitely not. We do not eat raw meat, raw fish, right? But there are many other people in the world, and even because of this world are connected with all the means of social media, we are definitely drawing out these foods. But something what happens, it's very hard for ingestion. Always make sure guys, it's really very hard for the raw meat to come in our body and to digest. Of course, it will go for ingestion. The body is not meant for consume, for digestion, for digesting all this raw meat, right? And that definitely causes an infection which may lead for or it may give the risk factor for the diarrhea. Okay? Understood, students? So now we will be understanding about the next risk factor that is fast food and unhygienic food, as we have already mentioned. We can see in the pictures also. Can you see in the picture? Favorite McDonald's meal or any Burger King, any other? That will also lead. Unhygienic food. Can you see in the picture? The child is doing the defecation outside of the house, not in the toilet. That also causes. Without washing hands, this boy is eating the food. That will cause such type of things will cause the diarrhea and may lead for the first. This will cause the diarrhea, lead for the disease condition more. Okay? So these are the nothing but different different risks which are responsible. Next is the residency in outside institutions. Now whenever we know, most of you students are not from the in-house, right? You have come from the other places to come and study in the institution. Whenever you come from the outside, you are not getting home food. You have to eat from the restaurants. You have to eat from the maze. Basically, we definitely refer maze only, and every student is eating from the maze. So every day, the different different ways are maze people are definitely different different ways. They are using the food, or they are trying to cook the food. Right? Every day, eating outside food, or when you are residing to the outside, you are not eating the house food. You definitely can come across, it can give a risk factor for the diarrhea. Homosexual and in drug abuse. Homosexual, what do you mean by homosexual? Gays and lesbians. When there is a, there are very high chances, or you can say there are also risk factors where a boy, a boy having sex, or a girl and a girl having sex, that also leads for the diarrhea. Whenever there is unnatural sex taking place, definitely it may destroy the mucus. It may damage the mucus. You, you are getting the rectum mucus. And that will also, because of the damage, it may give a risk factor of diarrhea. Next is drug abuse. Of course, we have seen in many of the drug abuse. Whenever we see the crimes of drug abuse, we always see there are the risk factors of diarrhea. So definitely this will lead for the risk of diarrhea. Next, malnutrition. Have you seen this picture? Can you please see the picture properly? If you see the crime, if you see most of the kids are malnourished, definitely. And not even our country, but definitely if you see in African countries, there are most of the people are suffering with malnutrition. Definitely. In our in India also if you see there are many others every in our thousands, one race of thousands, 
a single kid is sleeping with hunger. Every single child sleeps with the hunger because of money, because of the food he doesn't get, he doesn't receive. Because of that also malnourishment, there is high chance of having money. Why? Because in the malnourishment, a kid or the people will not eat adequately, whatever the required body needs. So that definitely that will definitely lead for this malnourishment. And that may cause us insufficiency of food, as we have seen in the etiology, that also gives the risk factor for having the diabetes. Next is immunosuppressors. Whenever the client or the person is taking the immunosuppressants these uh, medications, that person or that disease condition person is always having the risk factor of dry blood. That leads to the right blood. So this is the reason. Now let's see the types of dry blood. 